Hello! Audio test. Yes, I can hear myself. Fantastic. I did have my microphone muted, and that's what that lovely thunk you just heard was. How are we all today? I have had a strangely busy and yet very fast going week, because it doesn't seem like it's been a week since I last streamed, but apparently it has. It's, yep, yeah, it's Saturday again. That comes very quickly. Also, I've just inhaled a lot of food, so if you hear any strange gurgly noises, that's my tummy. That's my tummy saying hello. You can you can ignore it. You can say hello back. It's up to you. But just know, it's not really part of the whole stream thing, okay? It's just it's an, it's an added extra. Oh, I see. We already have two lovely people in chat. Hello there, Erica. Nice to see you as always. Hello, Air. You seem quite lovely. Nice to have you here. Let us jump into game. Now, where we last left off, I think... To oh, know that. there's the PA system. As one of our immigrants tells it, Vault 28 has supposedly bred sentient variants of free war rodents. Okay, we were going down to this new level. It's not the basement. The creatures were massive. Is it the office level? I think it's the office level. Sound is good. We may never know how much. Uh, an itty bitty more on the volume. Are you sure about that? I could have just been rambling or facing the other way. I do that sometimes. Ooh. Bam. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, here they all come. Now, if I remember this correctly, uh, the pathfinding isn't quite what it should be here. So a lot of the ghouls, uh, at least during early tests of this, would immediately run it straight at you, and it seems maybe they still do. I kind of like it. It's kind of terrifying. How does that pipe approach that? Look at that. Look how scary that is. Thankfully, I've got a good weapon, and I've got lots of action points. I'm just going to take all their legs off, and we're fine. Oh, oh, oh. That was in the way. Oh. oh my gosh, okay, we're not fine, we're not fine, we're not fine. Ah. Uh, okay. Nope! Died from radiation. Ah, uh, no, so I can see uh, my clipping. I've got uh, a bit of uh, wall there that was clipping. Or not lined up properly. So this was one of the levels I think uh, had to be rushed uh, because we weren't exactly sure what this level of the office was going to be. And obviously we only see... We gotta start again. We only see the ruined version of it during this quest. After that, it's the cleaned up version. And some players may not even see it, because you do actually have the option to skip this. So there's always a battle going on behind the scenes. Of trying to give the player enough freedom. So that they can skip certain things they don't want to do, or they don't have to learn certain uh, tutorial stuff again. But also trying to ensure that they do do things that they really should, because it teaches them something, or... It's just part of the gameplay. So this is one of the times when um, I was able to build in a sort of quest skipping into the first uh, iteration of the quest. Because we do have a few more quest skipping options now, but those were added post-release. Okay, we didn't seem to uh, bring the ghouls on us this time. I want to go this way. I want to explore over here. Okay, there's, there's that seam I found that doesn't quite line up. Ooh. If I remember to come back here later, I'll see if that does line up uh, once the area's been fixed. Never seen death in vats before. Yeah, I think, uh... Can ghouls poison you? No. It seemed like I had some sort of uh, lingering damage. Couldn't have been radiation. That's... Oh my gosh. Let's get this over with, shall That was we? scary. That scared me. I did not like it. Uh, no leg for you. Go away. Go away. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Legendary chess piece. I did not like how that thing was just hanging out here, just, just peeking over. Didn't like it. <laughs> Ghouls can still be scary. You know exactly what they do. You've played this game a thousand times before. And they can still scare you. Well, they'd still scare me. 
Oh, see? Scary. But we just have to cap them. And then just beat him in the head. Perfect. So one of my favorite, uh... Ah! Bam! One of my favorite things to do um, when starting a new game is to go to the Super Duper Mart in... Ah, is it Lexington? Uh, the area that's not too far from Sanctuary. Like the first major big town you can come to, apart from Concord, but that doesn't really count. Uh, and I, I just love clearing that place out with um, next to no ammunition. And just going in with a machete and just going crazy on those ghouls. Powerful flashlight. Again, I, I always say this, like, I play the game modded, so I've not seen these things in ages. Look how powerful this thing is. That is one powerful flashlight. What's even the point? Like, you should just have it on all the time, because it, it lights everything so much. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Okay, I can hear one climbing, but I can't see him. Okay, behind, apparently. Okay, we've got one here, and a second one there, thanks to good old vats. Okay, I don't think that took his leg off. Where's this guy? Okay, there we go. I was going to say, why is that guy not being targeted by vats? Oh, wow, he's got tough legs. Ah! He's not going anywhere. This guy is going somewhere. He's going right for me. And I'm out of bats. Oh, 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 I don't die. Oh. <laughs> I didn't save. Well, we get to see the funny hiding ghoul again. So, at least we have that. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this time. Quick save is your friend. I'm going to make use of it. <laughs> I do like the ghouls. It seems like uh, Fallout 4 doesn't really do... Ooh, hello. There we go. Uh, Fallout 4 doesn't really do much with ghouls, really. I think the most you have is the slog. And that's about it. Whilst a lot of the previous Fallout games made a lot more focus around them in terms of story stuff you can do with them. Because obviously they are a stand-in for prejudice. Everyone's prejudice against the ghouls. So you can have some uh, some interesting storytelling with that. But in Fallout 4, they shied away with it. They went, mm, that's a bit too real, we don't like that. But you know what? I say they're cowards. Piper, finish it off. Piper! Yo, psst. Just let me know. Let's get, get him. this over with, shall we? Nope. What the? What you doing? What? Good riddance. Okay. I'm not going to question it. You have your methods. I don't understand them, but they apparently work. Yeah, ghouls in Fallout 4. I mean, well, I guess the most we have is they go to Good Neighbor. They've been kicked out of um, Diamond City, but again, it's... Oh, there he is. There he is. There's our friend. Whee! <laughs> okay, let's take his leg off, because he is going to... do his little legendary thing. And then we'll just beat him in there. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's stick him up. Five. Oh my gosh, from behind. It takes five swings to cave in a ghoul's head. Good to know. Two. Sometimes two. Okay. I can carry something if you need me to. Okay, this time we have a walking cane. I kind of like the armor that we got before, Ben. But I guess I'll take the walking cane. Okay, no loot in there. Okay, we're gonna save. Quick save. Yeah, Piper had to leave. Piper had important things to do on the upper levels. But she came back, so I, I can't be too mad. Yeah, ghouls. Back to my ghouls! I, I, I can't finish my thought on ghouls. Um, feels like they were kind of underutilized in Fallout 4. And that's a shame. Because I like ghouls. Um, I really like them in Fallout 3. It's the... Is it the Undercity, it's called? Where they've sort of taken over an old museum exhibit. Now that seems to be a, a common ghoul thing. You have to take over a location because no one wants them around. And, you know what, it's, it's kind of interesting because, yeah, they're kind of stinky, I think, in lore. And they're a bit gross looking, so they'd scare people. So it's like, you can, you can almost sympathize with why people are like, Yeah, get out of here, you dirty ghoul. Like, yeah, I kind of get it. I mean, you, you, sh you shouldn't do that, but... 
Oh, there he is. See, there's the guy who's hiding. That is a clever spot because I do not see this fellow here. I can wake him up though by pickpocketing. Okay, let's just do oh, oh. Ah, he's gonna get up. Get his Fine. Do the old fashioned way. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna stim pack ourselves. Uh, do I have stim packs? Yeah, purify water, that'll do. Yep, I like ghouls. Um, I think I like them ever since uh, Fallout. Yeah, it was Fallout 1 with um, the Undercity. Oh, maybe I'm mixing that with Fallout 3. Necropolis, that's what it's called, the Necropolis in Fallout 1. Oh, this guy does not want to lose his leg. There we go. I love how they become absolutely defenseless. Like, look how confused he is. He doesn't want to attack me anymore. With his weird clipping geometry. Yeah, I can hear a girl somewhere. Unless it was just... Maybe it was that guy dying. We open this door. Oh, hang on, we had two chain doors over there. I want to go open those up. Let's see what... Oh, what? Oh, well. Alright then. <laughs> That's... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm just going to go over here. There we go. I want to see what these doors are about. Okay, we're back here, but I don't think we've cleared everything yet. Or have we? Don't remember killing this guy. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to do a loot pass in here at some point, I think. I mean, it's it's such a throwaway dungeon. It's like, is it really worth it? Boop, boop, boop. One more. Where's he going? Oh, off he goes. Oh, look at all those ghouls down there. Okay. Hey, he's got tough legs. There. there we go. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna get a grenade. I'm gonna see if I can take those guys out with something that goes boom. Uh, ooh, these go boom. Is it gonna be a big enough boom though? Just look at all those guys down there. There's at least, at least two, maybe three. Okay, we got one. And here come the other two. You made a mistake. Now you pay for it. Fantastic. Oh, another one. Okay, okay, okay. These things are great. Okay, back, back to normal weapons now. Ooh, okay, let's... Let's use our trusty machete. Now we'll just uh, remove a few of these limbs. Just a few There we go. There we go. Ooh. More damage to mutants, yes, please. E. No, I missed. Got his arm. Got his leg. There we go. I had a mod. We're talking about mods again. Uh, where... Let's see if it's still active. Nope. It's a tech piper. Okay, it's been fixed. Um, I don't know how or why, but it made it so if you held down the mouse button when you do a swing, it would cancel the animation of the swing and immediately restart it. So I could just go whack, whack off. Oh, ah. Get him. Okay, he's got his arms. And, uh, more arms gone. Okay, he's getting piper. Let's go through his legs. I missed. There we go, gone. Uh, so yeah, it was basically, it was kind of cheaty. It was kind of fun. Uh, Erica says, yeah, ghouls from the first games were really cool. A bit gnarly. Yeah, I liked how they looked scary. And that made it more interesting. Because they really were kind of scary looking. A um, bit gnarly, but I miss how they each had a unique look. Yes, as well. Like, um, even in Fallout 3, they all looked quite distinct. I remember. Fallout 4 has, just has two ghoul faces. Does it have two? That seems a bit too many. Also, they, uh, I don't think any of them ha technically have facial hair in the game. Like, they're not meant to. Okay, let's quick save. We added some facial hair to our ghouls, um, but anytime you do it, you can tell... Oh, oh. You can tell they were not designed to be able to have the hair on their face. Ah, damn it, I missed. Get his legs. Yes! Watch your digits, Blue! 
See, I love the machete on ghouls. It is the ghoul killer. Uh, two ghoul faces, feral and non-feral. Ah, okay, see. You were being, you were being clever. And I don't appreciate that. Okay, do we have a ghoul in the toilet? Surprisingly, no. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, okay, so this looks like a mirror of the balcony. Okay, I guess we just came through there, if all those bodies are any indication. Oh, <laughs> look at this poor guy. Look at what happened to his model there. How has that happened? That's scary. Is that the game messing up, or is that my graphics card starting to die? Because I've had this happen before in the past. Watch your digits, Blue. Barrel. And that was the reason. There we go. Let's get those buttercups. Okay, is that... is that all of them? Uh, they are at levels. Okay, we've not completed yet. That makes me think there's still some... Still some ghouls to clear. Ha! <laughs> oh! I think I see. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, get him. Beautiful. It, I, I almost, uh, I wanted to hit Q. Uh, because in the game Project Zomboid, which is a zombie game, holding Q has your character call out to make some noise, which you can use to attract the zombies to you. And I, I tried to do that then to try and call the ghouls to me, and then I realized, oh, you can't do that in Fallout. But... We're going to talk about mods some more, surprisingly, for a, a stream that is about a Fallout 4 mod. Uh, there is a Fallout mod uh, that I remember using that I thought was quite cool, uh, that maybe you guys may be interested in. It allowed you to throw objects that made noise to attract NPCs to it. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a cool concept, and I enjoyed it. Very useful if you're playing a more hardcore playthrough, and you want to lure enemies out. Maybe to, uh, to ambush them because you don't have ranged weapons. Or in a situation here where I w wanted to call the ghouls to me. Uh, that's the game messing up happened to me before. Okay, th thank you, Erica. I remember uh, many years ago now when a uh, graphics card started to die. Things like that started happening where models were getting stretched out and textures were starting to be a bit scary. And so I had a just a moment's worry of, uh-oh. I don't think my graphics card is too old. Four or five years old? It's not too old. Okay, it feels like we haven't cleared this place out yet. Because we haven't had an objective clear. I'm not seeing any hostile uh, markers on the map, but I think ghouls don't show up when they're... when they're just laying on the ground. Could be wrong. I just wish we could make some noise to draw them out. Oh, well, speaking of before, when I said I think... Uh, we may still have that bug of when you kill one, they all immediately uh, zero in on you. I think that's been fixed, because we did manage to sneak around and not draw attention to us. So it looks like uh, they can no longer see through walls. Just which waste, uh, I'm a bit sad about. That, that was kind of terrifying and cool. But obviously it means you don't have to explore the entire place. Uh, tactical Distraction System. Good job. Like, did you know that mod? Or did you just get that from my ramblings and you managed to find it? But that, that is the mod. Tactical distraction system. I believe you have to pick items up in the game, like uh, tin cans, and um, I think maybe you can like craft more complicated sound makers and use those to uh, draw enemies out. It feels like we've killed everything. As I get stuck on a chair. Yeah, we've been that way. Been in here? Maybe. We definitely came in here. We've been in here. Maybe it has updated. Maybe we just don't get the uh, the quest saying so. Okay, I'll try going back. Talk to Mansfield. See if he's uh, see if he's in agreement that we've cleared this place out. No, right, let's go back up. Back to lobby. Ding. 
Close Piper. Nope, not teleporting in. Oh, oh excuse me. Big yawn. Okay, there's Mala. Okay, I think Mansfield's walked off. Is he in his office or is he over here? On the quest marker, maybe. Error. Error. <laughs> it's nice to hear Mala talking. What? Oh, okay, the quest marker's on the uh, on the button for the elevator. We want to find Mansfield. I'm wondering if anyone what I fell down. Fantastic. I'm wondering if anyone watching has uh, discovered the mini micro new Mansfield quest that was uh, added in the, the latest major update. Okay, he's not here. Oh, don't tell me they're all bugged in the office still. I really hope they're not, because I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> okay, these guys are still in the office. Hey. Yeah? Good. The entrance is decently defensible now. That should free up some guards I can station elsewhere. Okay. Bye. Hey. Oh, hello. Hey, thanks for the quarters. Now I can listen to music, and no one can tell me to turn it down. Okay, the conversations are working normal. They're just... Never mind. It looks like their AI packages are telling them to sit and never move. <clears throat> hey. Hey, thanks for the personal quarters. Finally got someone I could put all my knickknacks. Feel free to stop by whenever I'm off duty. And it looks like Cal has been busy conditioning Bye. all these lines, so they fire. Oh, to make there he is. But since then, you've proven your worth 100 times over. Yeah, it's great Can to hear I all these characters uh, speaking and saying the correct lines. Hey there. Hello. I must say, the office you provided okay, me is extremely satisfactory. His usual uh, yeah. We're done. Yes. The Civil Defense Network seems to be working a charm. Should help keep everyone on their feet. <laughs> so. A lot of these lines where the NPCs are responding to you building things. Obviously, at some point, the player had to be the one making these decisions and putting down the projects. Now, uh, because of the changes we made, it's Mansfield, Mansfield who's doing it. So uh, it's kind of funny that he's like, wow, good job, player. Because originally it was the player who had to do these things. Uh, but now it's technically him because he's, uh, he's in charge of telling everyone what to do. I don't think we're going to turn those lines off. Because technically the player is still in charge and still the one kind of making these decisions, but they kind of just, they're having someone else do it. <laughs> that's a, that's a funny thing I didn't even consider when we wrote the new Mansfield quest that allows you to automate Ground the HQ. Uh, and we did turn on HQ automation because uh, I wanted to see if it works, and yeah, it looks like it's uh, working quite well. Okay, where is this last ghoul hiding? And is there any way I can lure it out? Okay, we've gone that way. We've gone this way. That door's a dead end. I bet there's like a, a single room somewhere that I've just not gone into. I might cheat. I'll do a quick search around and then we're going to no clip for the walls and see if we can find where this last room is. I don't think there's a second level. I think it's only this, this level here that we're on. That we have to find and clear out all the smelly, disgusting, dirty ghouls. Ew. Gross. Get out of here, ghoul. Let's go over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna no clip because I've managed to come back to the entranceway. Okay, TCL turn collision something. Oh, was that a go? No, I said a go. Okay. Into the void. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the elevator shaft. Okay. Wait. Okay, this this is not the layout I thought it was. Interesting. Okay, let's let's go up. Okay, so we cleared out these rooms. Cleared out that room. There was nothing in the toilets. We cleared out that area. Nothing there. Doesn't seem to be any in any of these office cubicles. I wonder if we've bugged it somehow. That way is clear. This room also. 
Oh, maybe I have cleared it. It's not Mansfield I have to talk to. I think it's maybe um, Cassandra. Okay, well, I can't see any rooms that we missed. So I'm going to assume that the objective just hasn't updated. And let's go try and talk to Cassandra. Okay, I am uh, corporeal again. How the hell do I get out of here? This way? Ah, oh, hyper scared me. Okay. Wait, did it update? Clear levels three. Okay, no. Let's just try talking to Cassandra. See if that uh, moves things along. But where is Cassandra hiding? That is the question. Lobby. Yes. Let's put my big sword away. We don't need to threaten people. Oh. I bet I know where Cassandra is. No, 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 wait. No, no, I don't. I was going to say she's going to be in the hangar. That's where she likes to, to stay these days. But no, we've not even built the hangar yet. Okay, there's Lily. Originally called Kiki, because she's a reference to a character from one of my favorite films. But apparently it was too on the nose. Okay, this looks... Is this how it's meant to be? This seems a bit overcrowded. <clears throat> Hello. The infirmary is perfect, though I suspect some of our people, like Aiden, enjoy playing martyr too much to make use of it when hurt. Okay, yep. Cassandra's not saying a thing. We're done. <clears throat> Why, hello. The infirmary is perfect. Like we reset I this. We're done. Okay, that makes me think. There's still something to kill. Kill or oh, that's a good idea, Erica. Uh, we'll go down. If I can find my way down, this way. I will use the kill all hostiles command. Thank you. That that would have taken me at least fifty minutes to think of that. So I I appreciate your prompting. Cyric is slow. Thinking that's that's difficult. Ground floor. Okay. I wonder where it's hiding though. Okay, let's try. Kill all hostile. I didn't hear any exploding noises. Quest objective didn't update. Makes me think we did kill everything. Now this is a brand new cell. I'm just going to say kill all, because maybe it's not hostile. Okay. Definitely heard them that time. Where were they? Interesting. So they weren't hostile, I think, because uh, we hadn't triggered them. Where? Were they below? Oh, were they hiding over here, maybe? Nope. Okay, clearly they were they were somewhere. That, that was at least two, it sounded like, dying. And they can't be above. Hmm. That is very curious and very upsetting. Cal, if you're watching this in the future, uh, mark down that we may need to test this area, because uh, I'm sure that we, we circumnavigated this place at least three times, and we didn't trigger all of the ghouls, so maybe... There are some hiding in locations that don't spawn. In that case, you're not going to find them. Like, they're, they're waiting to crawl through a window or something, but they just never come through. Ooh, okay, we've unlocked. Unlocked the office level. Right. Now we can talk to Cassandra. Hope you're staying safe. Welcome back. I'm told the residence situation will be resolved soon, meaning we can stop wasting time and finally address this outbreak. To do this, I'll need some equipment set up. And the cooperation of your other departments, of course. Maybe also some assistance. But only if they're mute. I think you already have somewhere to work, Cassandra. I think we may have built it already. But, um, what? What are you talking about? Once I have a working lab, I'll be able to assign teams to research any disease that may be causing us trouble. Then, develop cures and vaccines. With the resources of this HQ, I believe we can do something I never before considered possible. We could actually manufacture and distribute vaccines across the entire Commonwealth. Of course, I'm also at your disposal for any other medical or scientific projects you may have for me. 
But first, let's start with this flu going around. Assign the project, and I can begin researching whatever virus strain the cat dragged in this time. So I wonder if the new HQ automation also automates... Uh... Yeah, I think that conversation just ended. Uh, also automates the production of vaccines. I'm going to assume it does. The science department is in charge of maintaining the health of staff, technological research, and maintaining labs for manufacturing and altering equipment. Ooh, do we get the work tables now? I hope so. It uses its staff combined intelligence to determine how much work it can do each day. Okay. Use command mode to build lab. Okay, so I guess we still have to do this. Uh, oh, nope. <laughs> v. That's the key I want to hit. Okay, we're going to build a lab. Science. Okay, I guess we got to clear an area for it first. Facilities. Clean up. Main level. Okay. I'm going to say the office level, which is where we are now, I think. No options were sent to be selected from. I see. Uh... What else we got? Hallways, offices, reception. No options were sent to be selected from. Hmm, I don't know what that means. But it still seems like the job was assigned. And now for our fact of the day. Hmm. The Boston Public Library was built over 400 years ago and was the first large-scale free library in the history of the United States. Fascinating. So it looks like uh, all of our departments are in the red, which I think means they've got more tasks lined up than they can do with the resources coming in. I think. I think. Uh, and I'm guessing that's food, because it's it's red, and red is bad. So maybe we'll have to stop by a settlement and actually get some food going, which I don't think we've bothered doing yet. Uh, Erica says, I think it was one in the office room. Uh, one straight forward from the elevator. There's a pile to the right. I don't remember if the one hiding there crawled out. We did kill one that crawled out of a pile of trash. I'm not sure if that was a... That was done during this playthrough after I, after I died and had to reload. Okay, now... As far as HQ automation goes, I don't know if it really does require you to have your settlements built up. Or if that doesn't matter also. I mean, it seems like something you should have to do. But I don't know how friendly we've been to players who just don't want to play with our settlement building mechanics. Let's see. Is there a duct in the house? Use command mode to build a medical lab. Use command mode to clean up the main hall SE quadrant. Okay. Let's do that. Main. Main hall. Southwest. SE quadrant. Okay, we've assigned that task, and I didn't have a pop-up yelling at me, so... Gonna assume that's good. Now, I think if we just, uh... I'm gonna just wait for 24 hours. Wait. 24 hours, and then we can try... Yeah, need more workers. Yeah, I think we do. Um, I think we can send as many as we want, and there is no limit on it now. <laughs> it's hard to remember. I have a lot of the, um the old rules for HQ still in my head. Because that's uh, what I've been used to for like a year or two now. Oh, stretch, 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 stretch. Oh, it's good to do a nice big stretch now and again. Okay, let's let's see if we have enough workers uh, to at least get that project done. going to be a pop-up. I think those Gibbs over there enjoying a nice drink. Hello, Gibbs. You're a guard. Huh? Okay, it looks like science did... No, it didn't do something. Logistics did something. I just saw that thing refresh. Okay, I think we may have to send more people to do some cleaning up. HQ, HQ lab. Is there somewhere on one of the desks, maybe, that can tell us the exact amount of people we can send to HQ? Report That's assuming the there's a limit. Hall. I'm thinking maybe uh, ready for Teresa's desk might. Okay, 
administration. Automation, manage task lists, projects, help, uh, dismiss leader, assign employees. I think that's just going to bring up the uh, assignment chart. Yeah, and that doesn't say... Okay. Uh... Hmm. So is this everyone we've got at the HQ? That's not many people. I think we're going to have to go to a settlement and set up a recruitment beacon and just uh, bring in whoever wants to join. Okay, Sanctuary Zero people, so let's go... Let's go do it there. I know we should have enough to build a transmission tower. I can't remember if I grabbed the magazine. Uh, that a lot of people seem to think that you need to grab. Yep, I've grabbed it. So, for those who may not know, there is a magazine here. That is a custom one. And it gives you some building materials to build a recruitment beacon. You don't actually need... Okay, we don't have enough rubber... Solved. You don't actually need to grab that magazine. All it does is provide you with the materials to build a recruitment beacon. And we're missing some steel. There we go. You know, I could just go uh, get precedent guys, I guess. Can I send those guys away? No, you can't, can they? They're stuck at Sanctuary when you bring them back. Yeah, who, whoever wants to go to the HQ, they... They can decide wherever they want to go now, or five seconds from now, if I wait for them five seconds. Okay, it looks like a while since we've been away. Now they have cleaned up that quadrant, so we could probably travel back. Uh, hmm. So, how long does it take for Preston to decide to join you? I think you've got to do a few of his Minuteman quests first. Let's, let's bring them back to Sanctuary anyway. At the very least, we can put them to work farming, so we can get more food going to the HQ. Okay, let's let's push your proper weapon. Uh, what do we have? Alien Buster, yeah. Oh, and let's heal up. Those ghouls did chew on me a little bit. Ah, all better. There's a... Uh, my lovely workbench is out in the sun. Okay, I wonder how many uh, Concord residents we have at this point. I think they slowly filter in. I don't know if you have to um, do tasks for the town in order to get more people joining, or if it's just as time passes, more and more people join. Unfortunately, we can't recruit any of them. Oh, that's it. I wanted to talk about something. So, um, we just uh, got Cassandra, and we're going to set up her science division. I think I mentioned this last time, but something I want to do eventually is allow them to fabricate safe versions of the chems that you can buy. So things like Jet and Buff Out. So they're a little less effective, but they're not... Okay, we got Raiders. But they're not addictive, and roleplay-wise, you can be like, well, I'm not taking drugs, I'm just taking combat chems, and that's completely different. That's a okay. Yeah, run at the guy with the alien blaster. What could go wrong? Nothing. Bam. Bam. Okay, the Concord residents are not doing a good job of protecting that town, because these raiders were just, like, right inside. Did it! We saved Concord! Again! I think we ignored Preston and crew as well, so I, uh... I'm not sure if we actually got the extra SS2 dialogue. Let's go see. Okay, they're not there. But they weren't at Sanctuary, were they? Nope, just uh, one random person, looks like. No would be at top. Would they? Have your tea back, you. Check it in, remember, lads. So, we do have it where if you just run past Preston and don't talk to them and don't engage with the, uh, the, the thing up there where he wants to talk to you about the raiders, 
he will then spawn down there. And you have a slightly different opening uh, greeting with him. Because he needs to tell you, like, he's the, he's from the Minuteman, and he needs to, I think, maybe learn that you're going to Sanctuary or something. There's, there's basically some information he needs to know that you uh, need, that you can't skip over. Okay. Yeah, these guys are still up here. Let's see if they have their new dialogue, though. Please, you need to listen to me. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly sure I've already done this, but go on. Going through, glad to help. Okay, maybe this is the new SS2 dialogue. Let's see. Glad to help. God well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Oh, I think maybe know what happened. So I think this is the new SS2 dialogue. I think we maybe did start it down below just to see if it was there, and then, and then I think I just ran away. So maybe they've, uh, they're, they're sandboxing up here again. The, the old AI package took over. Or maybe just our AI package runs out eventually. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. Okay, I'm not a listening to that. A fresh start. Hey. <laughs> hey. Sorry. Sounds rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that it's ain't It's good it. to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... <sighs> maybe? Well, we do have one idea. Nope. No, maybe this is vanilla dialogue. Hmm. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. Yep. There's a crash vertebrate oh. up on the roof. Old school. Uh -huh. Pre-war. Uh-huh. I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to skip this because it's all vanilla stuff. Now. I know. It right. I'll help if I can. Okay, this but is going to be we weird because we've already done... Oh, no. Okay, we did do this. But my game bugged, so I went ahead and forced uh, the SS2 quest to advance. So we never actually did this uh, on this playthrough. Okay. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. Well, all right. You sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Hey, Piper. I'm, I'm busy right now. How about we chat later? It works for me. <laughs> it's weird having Piper here. Wow. Okay, I guess we're going to go uh, fight some raiders. I guess. This will be interesting. I wonder if the Concord folks will help out. I've never seen... This normally can't happen. Because to... To get to this... To, to have this happen right now, we'd have to go do, like, the Jake quest normally and clear out all this stuff. Okay, we've already grabbed... Yeah, we've, we've already done all this. We got somebody up here! Yep. Yeah, so re normally this sequence of events could not happen like this. Uh, it's just because we cheated. Come on, I've got places to be! And we used the uh, the city manager holotape to skip ahead in quests after uh, my game bugged out and I had to restart. Hold up. Okay, Preston's out Come there. Come on, I've got Open places fire. to be. And I can't, I can't jump down because I'll die. Blue, we're not alone here. Can I get over to the church? Hmm. I think maybe if I. Still hmm. wait. I'm gonna save asshole. before I try and jump down and kill myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, and now we should be able to. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. Ah, okay, fantastic. Didn't die horribly. All right, and that's how we get down if we don't have power armor. Well done, good job. Hey, are you, are you gonna help me, Edmund? No. You wish to speak to me? I like his hat, by the way. When was that added? I like it. All right, no, no one's gonna help me. Oh no, wait, no. No, it's just Preston. Okay. Oh, that means we're going to get the death claw as well. Hey, Caleb's. Okay, yeah. The Concord residents are helping. Ooh, get away from the car. Thanks, guys. Bam. Hey. It's taking a while to kill that level 4 raider. Get him, Caleb. Get that death claw. Thank you, Erica. I'm a parkour master, as you know. Oh, oh, there goes Caleb. <laughs> you didn't need those limbs. Oh, oh. Oh, God, Caleb! <laughs> okay, I feel cruel now. Okay, what, what part of the death claw uh, do you do the most damage with? 
Okay, apparently this, it's the limbs. So let's, uh... I would have thought it would be the head. Maybe it is. Uh, no, it's the belly, I think. Yes, it's the belly. Pretty cool. Alien Blaster, surprisingly, not that effective against a death ball. Oh, oh. There goes Caleb. There he goes. Oh. Oh, he barely reacted. Oh. Help me, Caleb. Yeah, shoot the belly. Shoot that belly. Ah, wasting ammunition. Oh. Oh, that was close. Another more hostile. Oh, yeah. Okay, grab the death ball things. Grab a stim pack. I just wasted so much precious ammunition. <gasps> Bip. There's no way in the vanilla game to uh, fabricate alien blaster ammunition, I think. I think once it's used up, it's all gone. Report back to Preston. Yes, it's very important. We go get Preston. Thank you, Caleb. That was very cool to see you ragdolled. Yeah, I think he's got his custom outfit as well. Nice. I think that was maybe on a um, recent update, because I don't remember Edmund having that hat. But it's a cool hat, and I like it. I wonder if that's from... Hmm... Could be. So, uh, we have. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm fine. Let's talk to these guys. Quit fussing. Excuse me. That was a pretty amazing display. Uh huh. The feelings mutual, Preston. You can never. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Okay. Anytime. Well, since you. Mm hmm. All right, Garvey. Oh. Sure. Uh -huh. Please tell me. Oh, knew Kes looking. Hello, Please Kes. Tell me where... uh -huh. I've been to Diamond City already. Yeah, we're skipping all this. It's all vanilla stuff. Murphy, we blah, blah, blah. This. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. Yeah, Mama Murphy. We're all gonna Drugs are for eventually. losers. We're gonna You're a loser. And our new friend here, he's gonna it's such a mixed too. message. I don't know what now Fallout 4 is trying to tell going. us about Kems and Kems. Alright, folks. Thanks to our friend here. It's safe because to Preston's be a square, he's like, no, don't take the drugs. Same drugs are bad. It's not far. She knows about it. But you the drugs are useful. One of her while but she was if you her take glory. too many, you but want us Mama to Murphy dies. So the lesson is, only no use just enough Mama drugs. And oh, that's oh, good. Everybody just take it easy. You're all in this together. I'm just going to run around here while these guys are talking. Blah, blah, blah. Anybody? Won't be here for long. Well, then. At work currently. Yes. I don't think I can pick this. You shouldn't be watching SS2 streams. During work. Okay. Okay, sounds like those guys are finally leaving. Uh, Erica says, yeah, the alien blaster ammo is limited unless you use mods. Uh, you can mod the weapon to use fusion cores, uh, so it's useful after you run out. That's kind of cool. And you can get limited use of the very powerful ammunition, and then you can uh, modify the weapon to use regular cores, but maybe it'd be less powerful. I kind of like that. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Is that everyone? Yep, that's everyone. Get out. <laughs> okay, I need to I need to just touch the door so I can go outside. Not walk through it, just touch it. Let's move out. I'll take point. Yes, take point in this very dangerous town. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, those guys travel to Sanctuary in their own time. I'm going to quickly go there, grab that new person who came, and send them to the HQ. And then we'll go assign, uh, assign the task of building up the lab for Cassandra. Okay, uh, where's this new person who's come to my settlement? Where are you? Oh! Okay, I don't think a new person came. I think it was counting Codsworth, maybe. But let's, uh, let's quickly test that. So I'm fairly sure it said zero before. Okay, gather around. Oh, maybe that was them over there. Hey, just saw them. I just wanted to introduce myself. Yeah, there we go. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured, why not? It's not exactly paradise, but what? Shush, shush. I need to get something out. Ah. Uh... Okay. Is, right. With some hard work, I think this could be a decent place to live. Mm -hmm. Anything specific you want me to do, I'm willing to pitch in anywhere you need. Thank God, Godsworth is blocking the conversation. Not right now. 
Thanks. Okay. Oh. Thanks to the Congo guys are good. As you can see, oh, listen, uh, can't swift to the HQ. Are still the envy of Sanctuary Hills. Hi there. What do you say? Want to work for me? Yeah, robot. Go on. Get out of here. Uh, so, Codsworth. Ooh, he's got good stats. Oh, he's working in science. I hope we've got space. Need something? Yeah. Got a minute? Okay, you're going to come work You interested well. in coming to work for me? I love this new system. This is okay. fantastic. Well done, Gaff. Look at this. This is fantastic. Okay, you'd be doing good in admin, strangely, but we can need more people in facilities. Uh, let's send you to admin just because you got a decent charisma there. No, I need more people. Okay. Uh, then you're going to f facilities. Sure. Okay, now I don't think we can send... Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. She changed into a uniform. That confused me. Okay, I don't think we can send any of the Concord guys. But let's try. Can I ask you something? Oh, maybe we can. You know what? I kind of love that because these guys piss me off hanging out in Concord all the time. Um... Hmm. Never mind, actually. Okay, let's let's see uh, what their stats are. Because we do need some people to work farms and get some food going there. Okay, Marcy kind of sucks, but she's equal across the board in sucking. Uh, Carla, yes. cannot work. Can we send Sturgis? I think maybe he's the one who you can ever send places. Oh, okay, he's got kind of rubbish stats as well. What do you need? Sure, Yay. let me just stop oh. what I'm doing to talk to you. What about June? I'm being... What stats does June have? <laughs> he's average across the board, and then he's skilled at being lucky. Sarcastic? Leave me alone. Okay, Preston's got to have good stats. Oh, yeah. Okay, because he's a companion, so that makes sense. Let's uh, let's see if we can send Sturgis. I don't... I don't think we should be able to. Hi there. Oh, <laughs> we can. Okay, that's cool, but uh, I think we'll break the quest that he does here first. So uh, let, let's hold off on that, sending the uh, Concord guys. Let's send Preston, though, because who cares about Preston? Excuse me. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened okay, to I don't think Murphy we can send Preston, because uh, pretty nice place she's found for He us. doesn't have settler dialogue just yet. I think we can settle down here. Make it a place to call uh -huh, home. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you think? <laughs> blah, blah, You've got to look past mm -hmm. I can see it. You don't understand. What do you mean? Uh-huh. Forget I said anything. No worries. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Preston is not a settler until he becomes a companion. Okay, I thought so. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't mind. So I think we got to do like I've at least... I've got another favor to ask. Do we have to I've do all of his... Um... The only chance to start trouble Shut up, Preston. Do we have to do all of his quests up until the castle? Or I seem to remember he maybe joins you before then. Could be misremembering, because who wants to bring Preston with him? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. By the way... Uh-huh. Hey. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just skipped all the dialogue, so I don't know if he just gave us a settlement to go recruit. Yeah, okay, first step. Ten, ten, pine, ten pines bluff. We've got a chef from the Uh, let's build a city plan here. Because I'm lazy. Oh, darn it. I meant to... Okay, we need circuitry and aluminium. Can we talk? I meant to download uh, some of the city plans so we had a bit more uh, variety. And I did not do that. Okay, what, what has circuitry and aluminium? I think there's food trays around that have aluminium. And I'm guessing maybe we can scrap some terminals and they'll have circuitry? Let's go find some terminals. Does a car have circuitry? Nope, just steel. Okay, maybe there's some stuff in my old house. The TV, that's gonna have circuitry. Nope, wood. Wood and steel, that's it. Why would there be circuitry inside a TV? Again, I've been using mods. Mods that add sort of more... more things that make sense in, to the uh, materials of uh, of things, so... Uh, I'm, I'm expecting too much. Too much for a television to have some circuit boards in there. Why would it? We may have to run around and do a bit of looting just to get what we need to build a city planner's work. Oh, is this secretary? Spring and steel. Gosh darn it. Uh, pretty sure there's not a lot of things that give you circuitry unless you have a scrapper perk. Ah. 
radio. Can we scrap the radio? Just rubber. You only get rubber from a radio. I know there's a terminal in one of these houses. If, if a terminal doesn't give you circuitry, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to say some horrible things. And I'm going to get taken off the air. Okay, so we at least... What else do we need? We needed aluminium. So I think... Yeah, these trays should give it. Okay. The, we at least have aluminium from the dinner trays. Ooh. Caps, yes, please. Run, run, run. Okay, where is that terminal? I thought it was in that house. Maybe it's in a different one. Look at all these bushes being in there. Get out of there. Okay, any more dinner trays? Maybe, I've, maybe I should just go Diamond City and just buy some... Uh, oh. Nope. Copper. Copper with the lamp. Radio doesn't give circuitry. One of these days, maybe, once SS2 finally wraps and if people are looking for like more projects to do, I'd love to create a sort of hardcore add-on for SS2. That's kind of our own take on sort of more realistic but hardcore gameplay so you can scrap things and get materials from it that make sense scrap 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 uh the terminal is in the south part but you can't scrap it uh you can disarm the bomb and that gives circuitry okay so south west this is that's not like i'm southwest so this way ah maybe it's this house ahead of us maybe let's go see Oh, I hear redwitches. Okay, it's not this one. We're gonna run away from those horrible insects. Help me, Preston! I need your help. Maybe this one? There it is, okay. So this thing, I'm guessing we have to disarm it first. Okay, did that give us enough? Mm, apparently no. Is that thing following me? Oh my gosh, run away! I'm going to take it my clipboard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah. Come here, little guy. Blue, you got a bat or something? <laughs> I can't do any damage to it with my clipboard. Okay, Piper, you got you got to deal with that. Still in one piece. Thanks, Piper. Is that... Uh, nope. Okay, yep. We're going to go all the way... The Diamond Sea, I guess. Oh, no one likes going to Diamond City. Yeah, we're going to go to the marketplace. And there's got to be some circuitry in the uh, the junk store. Oh, oh I'm, in a, I'm in a very stretchy mood today. No matter how much I stretch, it's not enough. Park uh, the car in the yard. Oh. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? Why are you yelling at me? Uh, Kez says, did you see my birthday cake? No, I did not. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. Is it a tasteful birthday, uh, birthday cake? Sure, let's take a look. The highest okay, two separate quest available. questions. Is it tasteful and was it tasty? They're very different questions. Okay, ooh, I will take some ASAMs, please. And we need some circuitry. Do ASAMs have circuitry in them? I don't know. But we're not breaking those down because we need them. Okay, uh, let's switch to... Junk. Okay, aluminium, fiberglass, concrete. Fiber optics. I know we need fiber optics to build ASAMs. Uh, steel, oil, adhesive... Uh, no circuitry. No circuitry for us. Lots of crystals. See, I'm seeing things that I know I need to grab if I ever want to build ASAMs. Copper, spring, crystal, ceramic, shipments. Shipment of plastic, shipment of steel. Okay, there's a phone. Okay, phone has circuitry. And I think that's enough for us. That's all the circuitry we get. So if you see any other phones in the world, we gotta grab them. Well, there's a classic. Okay, so a phone has circuitry. But everything else bigger than it, no, that doesn't have circuitry. That makes zero sense. 
Uh, it was a chocolate cake flavored, so very tasty indeed. Mmm. Oh, chocolate orange. Okay, that's even better. Like, like as in, I'm not sure if you know of this, but as in the Terry's chocolate orange? Because I love those. I can't eat them, but I love them. Oh, look at that little terminal. Look at that. How long have we had that? That's great. I'm going to make this small. I, I, I like this one. That's fantastic. Oh, don't, don't say it doesn't do the things I need it to do when I just built it because it was cute and small. Okay. City planners, craft. It's got the terminal built into it. Workbench, terminal. If you work, you eat. Oh, no. Maybe I needed the big one and I just wasted all my circuitry. I do like how tiny it is, though. Things are okay, we can craft. Me, but they'll get better. And we can use the terminal. Okay, no, no, I saw the flag. Oh, okay, we got the flag. Oh, okay. Manage the city. Fantastic. Okay, assign a leader. Uh, um, we only have Piper, and I kind of wanted to be my companion. Who's another companion we can pick? Okay, we can pick up uh, McCready quite easily. Rare materials. Have we been to Good Neighbor yet? I think so. Good neighbor, yes, okay. Okay, let's just go hire McCready and then put him in charge as the mayor of Sanctuary. I'm fairly sure there's a few other companions we can easily pick up, but I can't think of them right now. Okay, there's Hancock just hanging out. You are not that easy to pick up, so we're not getting you yet. Uh, more like Jaffa, if you know them. I do know of Jaffa Kicks. I... I, I kind of like Jaffa Kicks. I deal with the drugs. They're, they're kind of weird, because they're kind of soft. And I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, vault suit, Can't huh? say I'm surprised Hell to find yeah. you in a dump like this, McCready. Yeah, I was McCready. wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, yeah I heard. Lame gunners. You're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That <laughs> isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Hey, guys. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. Mm -hmm. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. Uh -huh. See? We respect other people's boundaries. Respects other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. You can play the game. It's something you never learned. Oh, he Glad doesn't know that. Have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. Plays the tough guy. But if we hear you're still operating inside Gunner territory, uh -huh. all Gunner territory. Are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Okay, they're finished. Come on, Barnes. Well, look, pal. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. Hey, Gunners. <clears throat> Get out of my face. Okay, there's, I, I got some news for you, but I'm not right. Hey, McCready. Hey. Look, pal. If you're preaching about. No, 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 no. I'm interested. If you think you've got what it takes. You're joking, right? I used to run uh -huh. with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sounds like you can handle yourself. If you're worried about Winlock, then what about you? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Price is 250 caps. Sure. Let's try and get that down. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Something wrong with your hearing? Ah, boo. So are you. Mm -hmm. Fine, I you need got a, a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Okay, we'll send Piper back to Sanctuary just for now. We're going to pick up again. And off we go. And then we'll set McCready as the mayor and pick Piper up again. Oh, can't fast travel from here. I'm good. Oh, we're singing the songs. What's up? You know, I didn't know these were custom songs for quite a while. I thought they were covers of pre-existing songs. So the, uh... Well, what's it called? Like, Woo Woo Train or something? I honestly thought that was just like an old song that they were covering. And it wasn't until I heard a song that was specifically about Good Neighbor, I think. Like, you gotta be a good, good neighbor for... Again, I, I for, for Oh, that's clever. They found a song about Good Neighbor that says the words Good Neighbor. Oh, but no, all custom written. Um, and I was actually quite impressed. That's a level of detail and polish I kind of wasn't expecting. Mm 
Bloop. Okay. Let's go to my tiny, tiny workstation. And we're going to assign the mayor. Where's McCready? Oh, maybe I've got to dismiss him. Hey. What do you want? Uh. <clears throat> Need something? I think it's about time we called it quits. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. I don't have to pay him again. Change your mind. You know where to find me. No, okay. Uh, sanctuary. Drum roll, please. Okay, let's try again. Assign leader. Oh, what? Why can't I assign McCready? Hmm. Yeah. This isn't even worth our time. Does that mean I gotta bring McCready as my companion to hear companion lines? Oh, uh, Kiss says, back to work. Enjoy the rest of your shoot. Thank you, Kiss. Alright, we're gonna sign Piper just to get the city built, I think. I don't know why McCready can't do it. Uh, Piper's in charge. Yes, make the leader. Piper's now in charge of Secretary. Once leader has settled, cannot build on their own. Uh, yes, tear, tear it all down. I don't think we've built anything here. And I hope it's not the Fallout 4 music. Nope, it's all custom music. I did get the copyright strike last time. And it's not even a legitimate copyright strike. Uh, some... Some bastard out there has uh, put like a fake copyright claim on the Fallout 4 theme. So anytime anyone uses that, they uh, they try to steal the revenue from them. Because why why would YouTube not uh, not just say obviously these people don't own the theme song for Fallout 4? Ah, it says yep, the creed doesn't show up on the list uh, on the wiki either. Hmm. That is curious. I don't know why. There could be a technical reason that you just can't use it, or maybe it's a uh, it's an oversight. Interesting. I mean, I literally just picked him up because he was the easiest guy to grab. Off the top of my head. Although we did clear out Vault 81, or did we? Because we skipped a bunch of quests. Hmm. No, I don't think we did. Obviously, we don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do the Vault 81 quest for SS2, so maybe we just didn't do it. So that, that poor boy is still infected with the mole rat disease. I, I might be wrong about this, but I'm fairly sure someone said if you ignore that quest, the kid can die. Don't know if that's true or not. Ooh, is that a custom flag I see? Oh no, that's... Oh yeah, that's Piper's flag. Okay. I thought that was um the custom flag of our faction. But I thought I didn't think we had that in yet, and maybe we don't. No, it's it's uh I guess it's the flag of Piper. <laughs> I looked for McCready, but it was alphabetical order and his first name is Robert. Forgot about that. Piper doesn't have a companion quest, could be why it could be. Maybe we have to do the companion quest first. Okay, but we do have a settlement built, so that's good. And do we have farms and our people working the farms? Mama Murphy. What is this? Can we talk Recreational plots. What is this? Recreation. Got some houses being built, it looks like maybe. Commercial plots. Get rid of these dumb bushes. If they ever make a Fallout 5, and they have city building stuff in it, there needs to be an option like a, a mo lot of mods enable, where you can just have your people clean things up, instead of me having to go around and, and pull up all these, all these weeds and all these bushes and cleaning everything up. Oh, that's cool. They've repaired the wall. Oh! And there's a commercial plot in here. Okay. It's going to be fun to see this place when it's completed. Okay, there's no food assigned yet, so if there is a uh, farm somewhere, someone is not using it. Well, I'm going to leave these guys to it, because uh, it does seem like they're getting on with things. And I'm going to pop back to the HQ. Hello, Sunstorm. That was the inception of Sims Elements, wasn't it? Uh, I forget what I said. If you're <laughs> if you're commenting on something I just mentioned, 
What did I just say? Okay, Gabe's is busy at work. Let's assign a task to build. Science department. A message from the security team. If you believe you have suffered a theft before reporting it as a crime. Medical lab. Please ensure that you own the item in the first place. Uh, the automatic cleaning and building of settlements. The automatic building, for sure. The automatic cleaning, I'm not sure if that was ever inspiration. I mean, I, I, some city plans do get rid of some of the junk and stuff. I was, I was having a walk around, seeing uh, what I got going. Okay, I think this is Lupe's custom room, maybe? Is it? She did thank me for a room before. I'm not sure if uh, custom quarters of both Jake and Lupe have levels. Okay, this is, uh, this is Jake's. Anton is hanging out for some reason. Okay, maybe they do have levels, because we've got a sleeping bag. I never knew that. I love learning things that I just... I've never been able to just play through casually. Like this. Perfect. Yeah, more guns. So I often only see, like, uh, the end result of things. Ooh, completed use of bands. Wait for medical lab. I'm just going to sit here for a bit. Wait for it to build. So, yeah, it's fun, it's fun to see things that uh, sometimes I just don't get to see. Erica says, Pretty sure it was just King Gaff being tired of having to build whole settlements each time he does a new playthrough. Uh, he liked making it look lived in, and that took a lot of time. Yes. I can't tell you how much time I've spent messing around building settlements and putting all this effort into it. And then maybe a week later, I just stop playing uh, Fallout 4 and get distracted by something. And then I come back a few years later, and it's a few years now, so I want to start a brand new game. So all that effort I put in, kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Doesn't stop me each time, though. Oh, hello? Okay, <laughs> I forgot I was sitting down. I, I didn't know what was happening there. So it is nice that you can sort of uh, offload the whole building settlement thing. Um, I think, I could be wrong. Either we're trying to get something into the game that can allow you to make blueprints of a city you make, or that's already a thing in the game. I can't remember. Okay, while these guys are doing this, I'm gonna I'm gonna travel back to Sanctuary. Oh, sales these department of Gina and finish project build person room. Okay, fantastic. Uh, you know what? The automated systems, it, it's growing on me a bit more. I, I, I like micromanaging to a certain degree, but I can see how it's really cool that if I'm off adventuring in the Commonwealth and the HQ does something like, hey, we've got more rooms for people. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm adventuring, so I can just find someone else to send to the HQ now. And I don't have to sort of travel back and to and back and to... Okay, these guys... I don't want these guys. They're busy living here. Huh. I'm not sure how you feel about a cooking station in the middle of the street. Clean, clean, clean. What are you still doing here? Oh, maybe this is a new settler. growing pretty good lately. Hi. Maybe this will change your mind. Oh, I think she deserted. I always knew you were a quitter. Crazy? <laughs> okay, we're gonna beat her into submission because that's how you get people to work for you. Man, she's good. Damn. Help me, June. I'm being beaten by my staff. I just need to go. Medical research with medical. <laughs> I'm getting updates on my HQ while beating one of my workers senseless. Uh, the medical lab of staff can now research the nature of any disease you've encountered. Once a disease is researched, the ability to research cures and vaccines for that disease will become available, providing you have the necessary equipment at the HQ to develop them. Generally, research takes several days, but for the sake of this tutorial, it will take just a few minutes. One day without getting shot at. We're well, not getting yeah. shot at. Yeah. You're getting punched in the face yeah. by your boss. Yeah. Oh, she's good at block. Hooray! 
Settler acknowledges your strength and is heading back to GNN. <laughs> yeah, I'm your boss. Me. I'm going to write up a report on this. You suck. I'm awesome. Screw you. Back to work. Okay, I'll hand this to Teresa. Done my work for the day. Back to the HQ, apparently. <laughs> I wonder why she quit right away. Like, I'm fairly sure I assigned her, and she just never got there, and just decided she's deserting immediately. I think it, I think it was you, Erica, mentioning that uh, they don't have a choice. And she's like, yeah, I've got a choice. I'm going to desert five seconds after you've recruited huh? me. Yes, I am. I am a kind and gentle leader. Okay, I think we're meant to go talk to Cassandra. Oh no. I meant to research vaccine. Okay, so we go to science. Research mode. Diseases. Influenza. Oh. That's scary. Here's Codsworth doing his science. Something I always like to do with a... Uh, because the the Mr. Handys are so big, I like to set scale 0 0.95. There we go, he's just a little smaller now, so he's easier to... Uh, I mean, he clips a little bit, but it's easier for him to get around the HQ, and he's not going to block my way as much. Okay, how long is this going to take? Wait for influenza. I can do that. Piper must have a desk to be city sanctuary, a leader of sanctuary. Build them a new one and reassign them. Huh. Where did a desk go? Did that city plan not have one? Did my mini desk not count somehow? Perfect. Ooh. Hello, Cassandra. I just beat one of the workers senseless. You should probably see to her bruises. <laughs> Oh, that, that outfit is not designed to comfortably sit. That's a... Uh, I don't know what's going on there, Cassandra. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you to it, though. And we're going to sit over here with this lovely lovely couch blocking... Uh, I think this is Teresa's room? No, this isn't Teresa's room, is it? Whose room is this? This might be Cassandra's room, I think, maybe. Does it tell me outside? Uh, view details. Mansfield's private. Ah, oh, okay, it's Mansfield's room. Makes sense, his office is right here. And his private room's over here. Yeah. I like that he's got some buff out. Mansfield. It's for medicinal purposes only, of course. Ah, oh, yeah, see. This is vault stuff. <laughs> I like that we can just steal it. Okay, but well, we're going to sit on this couch, blocking his, uh... I think he's put it there on purpose to block people from getting in. And we'll wait, eh, four hours. Hopefully that's enough time. Let's see. Cassandra, I've waited four hours. Have you cured influenza yet? Urgh, I'm angry. Cure it faster. Who's this? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Mr. Rubby against the wall. That's who it is. Hello, Cassandra. Hey there. Welcome back. The infirmary is perfect. Though I suspect some of our people, oh. like Aiden... Yep, you've already said this. How are things going? Everything is running as expected. Thanks for checking. Do you have any advice? I can't stand it anymore. If you can't spring for proper bathrooms... Then at least make these idiots go <laughs> outside to do their business. Ah, no, that's a big ask, Cassandra. Your thoughts? Cedric reminds me of the grandson I never had, nor wished for. Oh, that's mean. I'll see you later. You're mean, Cassandra. Who would have thought? I guess I'm going to sit down a bit more. As local legends have it, out there is a vault completely directed by a sentient computer. The vault dwellers have come to treat it like a god, raising shrines and sending out missionaries with pamphlets to their deaths in the wasteland. Remember, always assume hmm. a vault is dangerous because 
Okay, we're gonna travel back to Sanctuary and see if anyone else has arrived. Oh. Okay, seven. Nope. Okay, let's go Starlight. It looks like Starlight has a few extra people there. And we'll send them to the HQ to work. Gosh darn it. Now, now I kind of want to do a proper playthrough and, and build a real HQ and send my workers there. That's fun. That's That sounds like fun to me. Greetings, sir. Would you like to work at the HQ? Hmm. Well, maybe next time. Who is this? Is that Sheffield? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Come work at my HQ, Mr. Disheveled Old Man. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? But what are his stats good for? Okay, nothing amazing. Uh, yeah, you can go to facilities. Okay, who else we got? Okay, there's Stodge. For some reason, there's Alex Powell. Because it's not. I swear I sent you guys to the oh, HQ. Hello. Something up? Hey, maybe this will change your oh. mind. She deserted. Well, I always knew you were a quitter. We know what we need to do. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry I'm doing this to your wife. But it looks like you've had your head in cocoa powder, so I don't think you care. Yep. Yep. Don't think I'm scared of you, you asshole. <laughs> Ooh. He got me. <laughs> Julia sucks at fighting. Ow. I say she breaks my nose. Yeah, you acknowledge my strength. Get back to work. Now to go deal with your husband, who I think has also abandoned his Trail duty. All right. I want to trade a few things. Uh, give me your caps. How's it going? Then I think I need to get my uh, recruitment clipboard back out. Got a minute? No, okay, he never went to work there. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? Yeah, join your wife. Right. Uh, hmm. okay, do good in logistics. Have we got a space? Nope, not a space. Then I guess you're just going to no facilities. Problem. Don't let any. And where's Julia? No, wait. She's Julia. What's the kid called? Katie. Where's Katie? You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Who's over here? Nothing is domestic. Oh, it's crazy order. Yeah. I just random settle man upgrading his shack. And I'll hear it in a Got a minute. Okay, I want to leave some people with some stuff. What skills. do you say? Oh, over want to work for me? So uh, we'll just send this uh, nameless settler guy. You you can go to the HQ. Oh, those are terrible stats. Can he maybe work in science? Is like a yeah. You can be an assistant. Okay, that's your job. Uh, anyone else that we can send? Oops. Hello? Hmm. Does anyone have a moment to talk about my lord and savior? The good word about him? No? Okay. Hello? I am a menace. I am a menace to these people. I'm not sorry. It's my settlement. Uh, gotta beat up your subordinates. Gotta fill the quota. Yes. Like yes, Mars. we do. Who's this? Oh. Dirt. The view is Need not something? Nicer. Huh. Not a bad day. Oh, Stodge with your horribly compressed voice. Pleased to meet you. Oh, I'm Frenchy Junior. New NPC. Formerly the best singer in the Commonwealth. They say the smells bring back the strongest memories. You think that's true? No. I don't think so. Me neither. For me, it's songs. I hear Baby Dummy wrong, and I'm right back in New Reno. Shit, that was a foul place. But it was alive, and my daddy could sing. He never made it off that street corner, but what a street corner it was. Of course, it was the jet that did him in. I didn't stick around, had no wish to end up like him. Made it out east with the only thing he ever gave me. Uh -huh. My singing voice. Do you know I performed at the third rail? Wow. Yeah, sure did. Many years, actually. Till Magnolia came. Oh, uh, it's not her fault. No, I it? just got old. And bronchitis or some shit like that damaged my voice. It was never the same. And it was only natural that Magnolia took over. Shit, sorry, stranger. Running my mouth. It's just I heard Magnolia on Diamond City Radio, and like I said, the song always takes me back. Uh -huh. To hear her sing again, 
She's wonderful, isn't she? I'd uh -huh. go myself, but I'm banned from the third rail. <laughs> Long story, don't ask. But do me a favor. Visit the third rail. And record Magnolia <laughs> like singing with that pit boy. His dude. story's so long, and then he's like, yeah, I was banned. Don't ask about that. What a treasure. Uh, yeah, all right. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. You won't have to ask around. Magnolia will sing on request, if I know her. She might ask for some caps, though. I appreciate what you're doing. Okay. I guess next time we're in a good neighbor again, we shall uh, record those songs. And then we can recruit Frenchie. Come on, let's send Stodge the HQ. Hi there. Oh, no, he's the mayor. And he has also had his face in cocoa powder. Never mind, Never Stodge. Mind. We do not want that kind of behavior at the HQ. Okay, I think that's a guy we've already sent over there. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Can we trade a few things? Sure. Hmm. He does not want to go to the HQ. Um. Okay, that's enough people. Let's travel back. I think I saw that the science department was done with their work. Let's see. Uh, upgrade medical lab. Oh. Well, we have to go to the HQ to do that. Okay, off we go. Uh, you gotta build some city plans. <laughs> uh, you need uh, resources and workers, need recreational plots to get better stats. Oh, and companions have good stats. I encourage fetching strong. Yes. Yes, I gotta... I gotta put in effort, I suppose. <laughs> Look at this random dude. Yes. So, I have three intelligence. I am now science man. Hey, any tales? Actually, don't tell me. Katie will regale me later, I'm sure. Okay. So we had to build... The Admiralty what was it? Like everyone to know about. Up upgrade the medical lab to level two. Okay. Do we do this for science? No. We do it through facilities. Repair, construct. S nope, not security. Hmm. How do we upgrade maintenance? That's for cleaning, repair. No. Security, engineering, logistics, science, manage. We can reassign staff. Let me read that again. Upgrade the medical lab to research medical... No, to reach. Sorry. I'm, I'm not reading words. To reach medical research level 2. I'm guessing we do that yes. through projects. Codsworth. Unless they've already got it assigned and they're already doing it. Maybe that's why it didn't appear in the... Uh... <laughs> this guy cracks me up. Look at him, he's got his little science coat, and then he's just crappy little weapon there. You are indeed Mr. Science, sir. Godspeed. Okay. Uh, science. We can manage the science. View task list. Ooh, something happened. Uh, signed by you, planned by department. Ooh, look at that scary camera. I'm guessing security. Okay. No project on this, so they're not doing anything. Oh, you upgrade through the engineering credit view. Thank you, Erica. Look at you knowing knowing the mod I supposedly worked on better than I do. Engineering. Manage upgrades. There they are. Science. And I guess this is what we want. Analysis bio thingy my job. Yes. Okay. They're busy working. Let's see, so, so I need more city plans. Uh, for more city plans, I need to get more companions to to assign as mayors. I know... Do I have that installed? I, I'm going to try and get that for next time. I know someone made a... a add-on that allows you to have more mayors. I think they're mayors you can get from some of the vanilla settlers that you can recruit, maybe? Maybe some of ours? I don't know. That seems like something we should kind of have in SS2. But, like, that person went to all the effort to make that mod, so... I don't know, I don't want to combat zone, I want to go to... I want to go to Good Neighbor. Where's Good Neighbor? Good Neighbor, okay. Let's go get Frenchie, at least.
I'm not sure if he can be a mayor, but gosh darn it, we can get him and send him to the HQ, and then he'll leave, and then we'll beat him, and then he'll have to go back. And you know what? I want to share that experience with him. Hancock, we're ignoring you. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, it is 10.30 already. That went quickly today. Entertainment down the stairs. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll try and record this thing. We'll go recruit Frenchie, then we'll go back to HQ, and I think they may have just finished their project. Running from something? Welcome home. He is sitting in a very slouchy position. Okay, oh, I think I missed it. I think I meant to uh, use this holotape. I don't know where it is, though. Um, so we were given a holotape to use. And I think you have to use it just before a song starts. Could be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, get it in there. Record. Start recording. Wait for Magnolia to finish her next song. No, it's not the one about the train. I like the train one. Uh. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Not looking to buy right now. Then stop crowding up my bar. I want a job. Hey, Charlie. Hold her up or forever hold your damn mouth shut. Oh, he's one of them British folks he is. I've heard about them. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. The flower of the third rail. Mm, yes. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now... You're gonna order? Okay, I think let's... We have to pretend to buy something. Cure research. Once the HQ medical team has upgraded level 2, the science team can be curing cures. Blah, 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 all right. After cures research, HQ's infirmary and settlement hospitals will automatically dispute the cure over the infected patients. Okay. See what you've got. Here's the drowning sorrows. Uh, Erica, you need to bar to unlock the quest. Yes, I think I remember that. But we just pretend. Now that you're looking up, uh -huh. a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do Ooh, some dirty, hey, hey, dirty, hey, dirty work. Dirty boy. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm very clean. I'm a clean boy, but I'm still interested. Sounds up my alley. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar. Uh, what are you hoping for the song job. about Choo Choo? Three yes. Locations. The Choo Choo song is the best Everyone song. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch. It's all in town. The old uh -huh. job too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give me Three locations. Oh, I guess we could sweeten them. Okay, so I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Huh? Don't have no handouts. We're dancing. Yeah. Woo! I'll guess number. I guess we'll just sit here for a bit. Hello, ghoul. We were just talking about your kind before. We said that you used to look better when you looked worse. Hey, who's that? Huh? Hell of a load you're carrying. Um, better sell some maybe this will change oh. your life. Oh. You ran away. Well, I always knew you were a quitter. We know how to deal with that. Ow. He's a better fighter. Get him. What what happens if you pull out your weapon and just shoot them instead? Oh, he's got way more health. I wonder if you do more damage if you actually hit the head. I gotta be careful not to miss this next song that's coming up. So we'll have to take a short respite from this little fight and run over and get the uh party recording. Ow. Ready for the party. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Run 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 run. Okay, so recording. Oh, wait. That, Did that one was work already? a special member of the audience. Hey, where are you going? Sing the song about the train. 
Boo! What were you aiming at, homie? Come here, you. Smack him. Hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me. I gotta be careful not, not to punch you. Nope. Sing, sing the other song, please. Why, hello. Did you like the song? <laughs> He's coming back. Uh, more song, please. I love this song. Oh, well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, uh -huh. I came here for the... <laughs> so uh, I wouldn't mind hearing another song. A good musician. Fantastic, okay. Back to this. Yep. Sing the one about the train. Get him. Get him. Oh. Yeah! Go on, buddy. Let's dance. You know you train train to be yeah. a soldier at war. It was a game game. Ah, but that was before we heard the bang bang. Where are you going? And then it started to change. We took the train. Yeah, you acknowledge my strip. All right. Fantastic. Okay. You step through the gate, you got balls. That, that was a fun adventure we decided, good neighbor. That's the best song. That's that's the best song that she sings. The rest are alright. I like the one about the train. Trains are cool. Well, that, that was fun. We should go to bars more often. We should we should build a bar in the HQ. I mean we already have a bar, but I, I mean like a proper bar where, where you can where you can punch people who, who don't want to work for you. I, I'm glad you were amused by my antics in beating up my workers who abandoned. I, I, I like that I just keep running into them. Like these guys are just like, oh, screw working at HQ. And I just, I'm traveling around and I keep tripping over them. I'm wondering who's going to leave huh? next. Okay, let's, uh, what do we see? Research a cure for the flu in command mode. Okay. So science. Regarding bathroom amenities. Cures. Okay. The Is influenza? I thought we already did this. Hmm. Okay, it makes a beepy noise. Did it mean influenza by the flu? Research a cure to the flu in command mode. Hi, how are you? Maybe I did it wrong. Influenza. Seven days. Research manage. It's not going to be in engineering. Upgrades. Hmm. I swear we, we researched influenza before. Maybe I broke it by researching it too soon? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, yep. Yeah. It was just taking a while to uh, do it. We did assign the correct one. Oh, script, it's taking a while. Sometimes you scare and confuse me. Okay. Uh, so we have enough people working at facilities. We don't have enough people at logistics, but I don't think we can actually assign any more people. Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, dang, your HQ needs a lot more people. Yeah. Maybe get Magnolia to do a show there and bring in the crowds. As long as I can fight the people who want to leave. Then, then we can arrange it. Uh, so, I did set up Sanctuary to start recruiting people, so I'll, I'll swing by there and grab some of them later. Uh, but the problem is, I need to make more rooms within the departments themselves. Because right now, I don't think I can assign... Yeah, my, Oh, it's right there, I'm an idiot. It says max two, so yeah. Uh, the maximum amount of people are assigned to logistics. I don't know if Lupe is assigned because she broke at a certain point and sort of disappeared. So I don't. I think she must count as one of them because she's the default leader. Yeah, we got some we got some good stats here. I guess let's open up that menu again. Take a peek. Okay, so we can send unlimited people to facilities. Uh, we can have more engineers. 
We can have one more in security, no more logistics, uh, admin is full. We can have a lot of people in sites, so surprisingly. So let's see, how can we make more room for admin? So I think we'd have to clean some stuff up and then construct some stuff, maybe. Uh, office, living space, administration jobs? Two administration jobs. Okay, that's assigned. And can we do the same for logistics? So facilities? No, the logistics doesn't have one, but we can make more living quarters for Aiden, Jake, Lupe, Mansfield. Huh. I swear they were already giving me the uh, lines for them having those things built. But I kind of don't want to do those jobs until we have more people here to actually do the work. <laughs> Engineering security. Uh, undercover hat. I uh, just got uh, just got here a minute ago. Is Sirik using the new automation at the HQ? Yes, I am. So they should be doing most of the jobs themselves and upgrading as and when I need it. Um, but I'm also having to do the the main story uh, projects for the science department. So I think they're all set up. They're uh, they're going to take care of things. And I could just run around and uh, try sending more people to the HQ. Drink of the water. Makes me healthy. Now let's see. So we can probably grab some people from Sunshine. Yeah, let's go Sunshine. That's uh, looks like it's got a few people to spare. Ooh, how about a secret basement level in the HQ uh, for a very secret VIP bar? Hmm. Wonder how hard it is to make a custom level. I don't know, but I guarantee there'll be people on the SS2 team who can probably tell you. I'm not one of them though. I just know we can do things. Usually. Gather around, everybody. I've got an exciting new work opportunity for you. And if you don't do it, I'm going to punch you. Protect like really and help. serve. Uh-huh. What do you need? Just tell me what you need. We've got a nest of some nasty bugs just around the corner. Uh huh. If they don't get cleaned out soon, we're gonna have a real problem. What's really too bad is that it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, is this I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Protect good news? and serve. Need something? Yep, Tuffington. Okay, let's get my uh, recruitment clipboard. Okay, Hubert's the mayor here, so he can't go. Can I ask you something? This dude can go. You interested in coming to work for me? Yeah, of course he is. Off okay. you go. Okay, he's got good endurance. He can go to logistics. Oh, we don't have the space yet. Okay, uh, then for now, you're just going to facilities. Okay. Okay. Uh, you should stay a farmer because we need food. What's going on? Can I ask you something? Entry. You interested in coming to work for me? Off you go. Okay, he's got decent charisma. Uh, I don't think we've got space in admin yet, but yeah, let's try. Yep, not enough space, so... Facilities for now. Who is this with the gun? Ah, Child of Adam will lead us all to glorious division. Uh -huh. Hi there. Yeah, this guy's a farmer. I don't want to recruit him. We need our farmers. One second thought. Important. Yeah, forget it. Uh, but this guy... Yeah, you can go. Got a minute. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? HQ. Okay, okay. Eh, his stats aren't that great, but... uh, Off to okay. facilities you go. We've What's not going enough on? clean water. We got people drinking out of the puddles. <laughs> Who's this? Visiting researcher. Okay, we've got a recruitment beacon, so hopefully we'll uh, get a few more people here to replace those we just stole. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, we can probably steal maybe one person from Sanctuary. I think that, I think that's all our settlements. Uh, how do I hide the settlements again? I know there's a way to just see your settlements. Um, I think may oh I think that's only if I've got um, vanilla. Uh, what you call them? Trading things where you... Ooh. 
No, okay, I thought, I thought that was a new location, but nope. That's Starlight, we've already stolen people from there. I think the only... Okay, we have Hangman's. And apparently we have one person living there. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna investigate that. Did we send a companion there, maybe? Because I don't think we've got a recruitment beacon built there. So I don't know how anyone has managed to find their way to Hangman's Alley. Hello? Oh, it's Cersei. Okay. Glad to see you. You can go to the HQ. You don't want to live here. Got a minute? You interested in coming to work for me? Oh, that's it. We assigned her here because we were going to try and grab her as she left the door, but she was too fast. She was too quick. Oh, more living quarters. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess you're living here. Sorry. How can I help? Back to the HQ we go. I don't think I saw the uh, the science project pop up whilst I was away. But maybe it will. As soon as we arrive. Hopefully. Let's see. Data. Upgrade to level 3. Okay, it did do it. Us. Man, we gotta do a lot of upgrades for this thing. Okay. So we go to... Engineering. Upgrades. Science. If you find an item that may belong to someone... Biotesting type. Okay. Now after that, surely that's gotta be the last thing we have to do now for the science. It feels like we shouldn't have to upgrade it all the way for the science thing. I don't think we need it for story reasons. Other than just researching the, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, Dr. Science. Huh? Busy at work with a lab coat that just does not fit him. He's my favorite science guy. Um, I don't think we need to upgrade too far because I think we only need to, like, like, get cures for things. It seems like we have to do, like, a lot of instant upgrading for the science stuff. Maybe there's a reason for that, I just don't know. I'd prefer, like, I like um, things that sort of stretch out over time, so you have more a sense of progression. What are you doing here, Alex? Let's trade some things. You don't work That's in science. That's a lot of road dust, friend. Okay, wait for the thing to upgrade. But I think we're probably going to end it here for today, because we've been going for uh, over an hour and a half, at least. And I do have some work for uh, King Gaff Creations to uh, get on with. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, too many people have abandoned the HQ since I last left. Uh, so, let's save our game there. Uh, yep, that's the last upgrade. Okay, thank goodness, because that, that's a lot of upgrades. I'm wondering if um, we can make that automated as part of the HQ automation. Because it does seem very, uh, very out of place if you're not doing any of the other projects, where suddenly you've just got to focus on building this one particular thing again and again and again. So I'm wondering if it's worthwhile just to have the player do it once, and then maybe have it also happen? Who knows? But we are going to leave it there for As always, we've got a few minutes for any questions or queries, uh, but I think mostly... Back to chatting. I think mostly we've covered de most of the general questions, because we've been going for 14 episodes now. 14 episodes, and we've almost started Chapter 3. Almost. And then, and then there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, six main quests technically to do, I think. Um, but there's a bunch of additional quests that you kind of have to do for the main storyline. But we're close. We're, we're getting close to finishing SS2. We're, we're past the halfway point. And that makes me a bit sad. So I guess we'll just have to make even more SS2 content, just so I've got something to go back and... Go back and stream once that's done. But unless uh, we get any more questions in, we will be calling it there for today. Ah, a question I just saw it. So, eh, a question I just saw sneak in from Undercover Hats. King Gaff Creations? Question mark. Question mark. If it wasn't E E E, or if, no, if it wasn't for E E E, my copy of Skyrim would still be gathering dust. Skyrim is definitely one of those games where you'll put it aside for a while. And then something will bring you back into it, either a mod, or you'll just remember a particular quest you enjoyed, or you just get that itch to go swing a sword and toss some magic around and make everyone very upset at you, and then be a, be a vampire for a while, and then figure out that sucks, and so you go cure it. Definitely one of those games. I've not completed it, 
since the very first time I played it. So, ooh, what, 10 years now it came out? 10 years ago is the last time I actually played Skyrim from beginning to end and actually finished the main storyline. But I suspect most people don't really play the main storyline anytime they reinstall. You, you just get distracted, you go off on an adventure. But I, I do hope that you are, you'll enjoy our next project under Gather Hat. Erica, if it wasn't for EEE, -E -E, I wouldn't be interested in playing Skyrim. It's a different game. It, it's, uh, it's definitely, even though it's obviously a, a Bethesda game when you play it, it does have a very different feel to Fallout 4. So if you're not big into fantasy, I can see why Skyrim may not be the game for you. Oh, a question though from Undercover Hat. With the HQ automation, do they jump back and forth between cleaning and building, or is everything clean first? I think they jump back and forth. Could be wrong. Not entirely sure on that. I, I know the way it works roughly is each department will just set up a bunch of tasks and then start doing them in order. Uh, and they'll wait until they have enough resources gathered to do it. So it's kind of back and forth, but I guess it's also every department's just doing whatever they want at the same time. I think it's I think it's based by departments. So each department will have a bunch of tasks it'll do. So one will just be cleaning facilities, one will just be building and upgrading, so on and so forth. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not an expert on this new system. I I just write the funny words that the characters say. The the more complex things, that's for people smarter than I. But I think we might be calling it there for today, so I do intend to stream next week. I don't think anything's coming up uh, that will need my attention. So unless something terrible happens, I, I'll be able to catch you guys next week. Thank you as always for watching. It is always a delight to see that people like to watch me play the silly game that I had a part in creating. And I hope you enjoyed it. You're welcome for the stream. Good night to you, Erica, and good night to everyone else. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.